Hello and welcome. My name is Amuld and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access MySQL Server on Microsoft Windows through command prompt. So you can get my MySQL from the software distributors like Apache or you can get it from RAMP Server or you can get, get from RAMP.info Oh, sorry. Or you can get get from dev dot mysql dot com. So these are the options where you can get mysql server from. Go to download community community edition. This is a recommended download. So there are a lot of options you can get. MySQL server from and download it but in this video I'm quickly going to show you how you can access the MySQL server using command prompt and no matter where you are in the command you don't have to change the directory multiple times to get to the MySQL folder I'm go basically so I'm going to show you how you can add the MySQL variable path to your system variable environment let me go ahead and show you right away. So I'm using XM server. If you have RAM, MAM, or any other software package like XM for RAM, which ships with uh, MySQL or any MySQL variable, whatever it is, MariaDB or whatever, PHP, Perl, Apache, or Nginx. Let's go ahead and show you how you can add them, how you can add the MySQL to the variable path. So simply go ahead and launch your Windows Explorer on your operating system Windows 10, 7, 8 or 8.1 and then you go to this PC or my computer. Then you go wherever your software package is installed. So under C and then look for your software package in my case it's XM double click on it and then look for mysql folder then you go under bin just copy the path copy the path and then close the everything I guess here now you go ahead and press the start menu and type path or you can simply type system environment variables and then open it and then you click on environment variables select the path over here and then click edit and then you have to hit new now paste it over here so mysql bin path over here and then click OK because I already have one over here you can see I'm not going to add it I'm going to select it and click OK click OK click OK once it's added to the path you can simply go ahead and launch your terminal sorry command prompt go to the start menu and type CMD and hit enter so this is basically command prompt on Microsoft Windows now you can access your MySQL so simply type my sql hyphen u hyphen u for username so simply type the username that you have on your server and then hyphen p in case if you have a password now if i hit enter it is asking for the password and i don't have password in case if you have password for the user you have typed here simply type in the password otherwise press enter now so i'm in the database here the mysql now i can perform the queries databases and these are the databases use one of the databases so changed the database so this is how you can access mysql using command prompt on microsoft windows the other option if you have XMP installed on your system Go ahead and start 
click on the start menu and then look for the XM control panel simply type XM press enter and make sure your Apache and MySQL are running so this is how you start them start them and this is how you stop them now you go ahead and launch your preferred browser go to localhost then you go to phpMyAdmin so this is phpMyAdmin you can type this path in the URL here and you should be getting the same interface now here you can access your databases so this is these are the databases you can create database from here or you can click new you can perform the queries over here and under any specific database you can go ahead create a username assign privileges to the user there are a lot of things you can do using this phpMyAdmin admin as well so this is how you access mysql server using command form and using phpMyAdmin. admin so that's it for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day happy coding